Hi, today we are discussing dependency injection. Dependencies are services or objects that a class needs to perform its function. Dependency injection or DI is a design pattern in which a class requests dependencies from external sources rather than creating them. You can look at it as if you are adding an extension to your browser or adding an app to your phone. Once you add it, you provide yourself with the new functionalities and features. Nice extension. Let's create a service which we can inject in our components. Create a new file with the name log.service.ts. Import injectable decorator from Angular Core. And then for provided in metadata, add root value which means that we are going to provide the service in the root of the application and that it's visible throughout the application. Export our log service class and inside of this service we want to add our log message method, which will just log past messages. For clarity and maintainability, it is recommended that you define components and services in separate files. Now, inject our log service into the app module file in providers array. Injecting service results in making them visible to a component. To inject a dependency in components constructor, supply a constructor argument with dependency type. The following example specifies the log service in the app component constructor. The type of log service is log service. Now we can reference our log service in our component and call our method from it. We should pass our message and as you can see it's being executed as expected. We can use this approach to inject third-party libraries and other modules that are available in Angular framework. So let's inject render2 module which is used for custom rendering and updating the DOM. Import Renderer2 from Angular Core and inject it inside the constructor. Also, we will need element ref, which we can use for referencing our DOM elements or the host component in our case. Now, inside the ng-onInit lifecycle, call the setStyle method of the renderer and set the color of host native element to red. This method changes the color of our component's text and as you can see with the dependency injection, we get access to more features and methods. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching the whole video. Please let me know what would you like to see in the next one. And if you like this tutorial, also please subscribe. Until the next time, stay well.